We have a few Queen's Park Rangers supporters yeah. in the audience. Oh, You're not going to get up this year, are you? <laughs> <laughs> you mean Queen's Park Rangers? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Were you confusing it with Sheffield Steelers or no, 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 or, uh, no, no. or or, 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 or else? <laughs> no, we're, we're we're going to Main Road on Saturday, knowing that we have to win. And it's not going to be an easy game because Man City are going through a really good, you know, run of form right now. But we're going there knowing that we've got to win. And I hope a lot of a lot of Rangers supporters who have been fantastic all season, especially at away games. I hope we got a really good turnout. <laughs> I think that we are playing well enough to win. We're playing well enough to, to be any it's club be in difficult. Division One. Right? There's the table. I mean, 60, 43 <laughs> points. Ipswich well, played a game less, they're on 64. You're still in with a shout, but realistically... Ipswich, Ipswich have got Norwich on Friday night. That's not an easy game. Mm. Anything could happen there. It's not an easy game. Uh, Port Vale have got uh, Wolves and Stoke to play. Local derby against Stoke. I mean, all the teams have got to play each other. All we can do is we can, we've got to go to Man City and get three points. And that's the only thing that anyone at Q, QPR is focused on right now. After that... We'll, we'll take it as it comes. How vital is it financially to the flotation of QPR and your attempts to get back in the, in the top flight? Well, I mean, the, the flotation's it? history. Uh, it's very important that, en that any club in QPR's position gets back into the Premier League. We have a, we have a Premier League set-up. I think we've got the, the, the makings of a Premier League team. You know, obviously, we're, we're, we're rebuilding a team that was relegated. I think we've got a team that has got the makings of being a very good Premier League team. It's important we get up this season, if we don't get up this season, then it's important we get up next season. You've actually got two Premier League managers in charge of you at the moment. Does that create a problem in the dressing room? No, uh, Stuart Houston's the manager and um, you know, he, he has a, a great relationship with the players and, it, and uh, that, that works out very, very well. Let's talk to some QPR fans in the audience. The guy in the back row there. Um, Chris, I, I would like to see us uh, make the playoffs and go up this season. But I believe if we did go up into the Premiership and our defence were faced with the likes of Shearer and Ferdinand, Colin Moore and Fowler, Burkamp and Wright, etc., um, we would just get humiliated and embarrassed every week. Yeah. Well, um, with you know, we, you know we've the, got. Yeah. the point is that... <laughs> We had a chat earlier on. <laughs> <laughs> um, if, 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 we, if we go up and, and if, if, uh, if Stuart Houston thinks that, that we need players in whatever positions, uh, then we will be going, going and trying to bring those players into the club. We had a call from, from one of your supporters, Eddie, in Acton. It's going to yeah. raise the point I think a lot of people are going to, going to raise. If you're going to rebuild the team, are you going to have to sell Trevor Sinclair to raise the money? No, we don't, we don't have to tra sell Trevor Sinclair to raise the money. And um, any players that, 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 that leave QPR, you know, will leave because it's in the best interest of, of the team. And uh, there's no plans to sell Trevor Sinclair, and we don't need to sell Trevor Sinclair. But uh, does Trevor Sinclair want to leave? At uh, the present moment, no. I mean, in, in any case, he's injured right now, so he, he's not taking that part of an active role. But I think players do get stale after a period of time, and they do want to move on, and I think the QPR fans realise that. QPR uh, fans over there? Yeah, I mean, as far as we're concerned, we've, we've seen a season of pretty poor form all, all round, and it's only been, like, the few half an hour here and there where the team have been performing well. And unusually, you know, for people don't realise this, Sinclair has been part of it. Against Wolves on Easter Monday, he, was, he wasn't playing. We played the best football of the season. I, I heard... I mean, I, I missed the Wolves game. I was away in the States. That, but I, I, most people told me that was the best they'd seen QPR so play for I mean, years. I, I think... I don't speak, speak for the rest of the fans here, but as far as we're concerned, we'd rather see a balanced side without the prima donnas like Sinclair, mm. who are going to actually battle for the side mm. and, and get us up. Definitely. I, 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 think, agree, I, I think, think it's fair to say... Yeah. Trevor Sinclair has had a very good season, though. I mean, he's yeah, played very well. He got, he got into the first division team. The, 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 other, the other players picked him, but then there's, they're, you know, they're, they're not seeing him 42 games a season like we are. Chris, you he's say... playing very, very hot and cold this yeah. season. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're not just picking on one player because I don't believe our real weakness is going forward. Mm -hmm. I think it's coming back. I mean, we've got Murray, we've got Spence, who was a great, great signing. Mm -hmm. Um, great goal on Saturday. Superb. Yeah. I mean, I think all three goals were great goals. Yeah. I don't think our problem's going forward. It's, I mean, we played at home against Oldham, who were the worst team I've seen at Loftus Road. No disrespect to them. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. they're the worst team I've seen at Loftus Road <coughs> for a long, yeah. long time. And we lost 1-0. Where's, where's Tracy I agree. Stay? Where's they Tracy? Were, Tracy's there. Something. I know Tracy wants to ask you something. Yeah, Chris, um, I'd love us to get up this season. It doesn't seem as if we are going to go up, though, now. 
What is the likelihood of there being more funds available during the closed season to enable us to strengthen our squad, to hopefully buy a couple more quality players in the mould of, like, the Super Johnny Spencers, so well, hopefully we can do a Bolton next season. I, I agree. I mean, I said this at the, at the Supporters Club dinner on Saturday, that Bolton announced that they, that they, were, that they had started rebuilding mm. for promotion from Division One in March of last year when they realised they were going down. We took over QPR one week before the season started and it was very difficult to do much in advance of the season we've brought in three players this season three and three top class inter, you know yep. uh, international players i mean certainly two of them are current yep. internationals and and it's up to the manager which players he wants to bring in and the manager has very high demands of players and he only wants to bring in players of that caliber and i respect that but i'm very very optimistic that during the, this close season which is always the best time to bring in new players that we will be able to find more than one or two three or four or five new players to bring into the squad to strengthen the squad with a view mm -hmm. to a promotion and b achieving something yeah. when we do get promotion. Chris, just uh, the, the lad over there made a, a point about Trevor Sinclair and yeah. you said that you, you don't have to sell Trevor Sinclair and he doesn't want to go at this moment in time. Six months ago, Danny DiCchio was saying virtually the same thing and you were saying virtually the same thing about that. Now, I'm not having a go at you, but what I would like to say is, or ask you, how possible is it now to govern a football club out of the Premier League when you know damn well that you're always going to lose players like this, whether he goes to Sampdoria or Leeds United in the summer, he's still going to go. And, I, and with the Bosman ruling, how can you manage a club Don't like We've got time to argue, Bosman. Just, just very quickly, does it make your job difficult? Yes. Was <laughs> <laughs> that quick enough? You can tell this isn't question time. You got a straight answer from somebody on the panel. We've got to go to a break. The lines are open 0990 200 666 with Raven Cottage. So there you go. <laughs> we will be back to talk about that controversial Football of the Year decision in just a moment. Don't go away. <laughs>